Today, we're going to do a review of The Mandalorian Season 2, which could quite possibly be the best show I have ever watched, which is saying something because I am a huge Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, Sons of Anarchy, and Game of Thrones fan. I mean, I truly remember watching Game of Thrones every season saying this is the best show ever. This is the best show ever. Even when they went to the last season, I'm like, this is the best show ever. And then the last episode happened. What the fuck? So hopefully, when it's all said and done, when Mandalorian says this is it, hopefully they don't have a Game of Thrones moment. In saying that, I'm going to be doing a breakdown of each episode and give you my thoughts and feels. So, Paul, take it away. And that's not a prediction. That's a spoiler. So that means if you want to watch season two first, I suggest you click off now and then come back so that we can nerd out together. Unless you don't like being called a nerd, then you can watch me nerd out all by myself. I'm pretty good at doing that. I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's get to the video. So it starts off with him trying to find some help to try to get the child to a safe place. So he wants to find other Mandalorians to help him. So he goes to this planet and it's like this dark planet and he goes into like this arena and he's talking to this guy and there's like a fight going on between aliens obviously star wars so he's talking to the guy and he's trying to get the location of other mandalorians and the guy is pretty much talking to him and he's like you know this is no place for a child he goes wherever i go he goes he goes i heard and then this happened <laughs> After all that, he strings the guy up, takes him outside, strings him up onto one of the light poles, and upside down, and he's telling him, hey, I need to find some more Mandalorians. Guy says, I'll let you know, just please don't kill me. He says, I won't personally kill you. So then he tells him there's one on Tatooine. He goes, oh, I know the planet well. And he says, whatever, there's the one at. He goes, okay. He starts to walk away. Guy's like, aren't you gonna let me down? And he shoots out um, the light. And these things that were like in the dark with red eyes comes and starts attacking the guy. I guess he eats him. So he goes to Tatooine. He meets the uh, the girl, the lady mechanic that has robots. And he asks her, where have you ever heard of a Mandalorian being at? She tells him. He goes there. He starts to ask questions. And then this happens. Can I help you? I'm looking for a Mandalorian. Well, we don't get many visitors in these parts. Can you describe him? Someone who looks like me. You mean the marshal? Your marshal wears Mandalorian armor? Huh? See for yourself. So, off the top, he knows that this is not a Mandalorian, it's somebody that has Mandalorian armor. So, uh, he goes to talk to him. And the marshal sits down, takes off his helmet. It's Timothy Oliphant. I think I said that right. And he's like, well, um, you know, I, I use his armor to protect the town. Mandalorian says, I don't care. That Mandalorian armor is coming back with me. It looks like they're about to fight. And then the ground starts to shake. And there's a thing called the Creek Dragon that is terrorizing the town. It reminds me of, like, if you walk, if you enter, like, Dune. Uh, the sandworm from there or from Beetlejuice. I just aged myself. So um, he goes, the marshal goes to the Mandalorian and says, I'll give you this arm if you help me kill that thing. The Mandalorian agrees. They go out to try to find where it stays. They run into some Tusken Raiders. So the marshal is about to get into it with them and the Mandalorian says, hold on. And he speaks Tusken. And he's explaining to um, 
to them what they what they want to do and the tuscan raiders i guess tells them that yeah we want the creek dragon dead too so they agree to help him and he's explaining that to the marshal so they i guess the tuscans i guess raided the town a few times so the marshal's wary of him doesn't like him um the mandalorian is playing peacekeeper and let him know hey if we're going to take this thing now it's going to take all of us so they go back to the town uh, the mandalorian and the marshal explains how they're going to have to work with the tuscan raiders to take this thing down uh the townspeople at first don't want to do it but eventually they agree they go out there the tuscans know where the kree dragon stays they go out there they set a trap for it and then come to find out um it eats a few of them <laughs> So they devise a plan to try to take this thing down. Uh, it comes out. They set up a trap for explosives. They blow it up, but it doesn't kill it. And it actually goes to the top of the mountain. I don't know how it did that. And it starts spitting out like this stomach acid, which starts instantly melting like the Tuscan Raiders that it lands on. It's almost like the acid from like aliens. And uh, so then uh, the Mandalorian, the Marshal, are like well we got to do something and they devise a plan the mark man lorian came up with, with a plan to actually um use the explosive inside since outside obviously didn't work skin's too tough so it winds up he wants him to eat this one um animal that the tuskings use to carry things it has a bunch of explosive on it uh the um Tus the Cree dragon winds up eating the animal and the Mandalorian too. I guess it got caught on something. And um, well, the Mandalorian was able to blow up the explosives inside of the Kree Dragon, killing it. And the Mandalorian was able to fly out of the Kree Dragon mouth uh, right before uh, the explosion. And Kree Dragon's dead. The Tusken Raiders are happy because they start harvesting the inside. The townspeople are happy because they don't have to deal with the Kree Dragon no more. And um, uh, Timothy Oliphant, the marshal, winds up giving the armor to the Mandalorian. Now, this is what I didn't know. I guess I'm a Star Wars fan, but I'm not a fanatic because um, I did not realize that that was uh, Bubba Fat's armor that he, I guess he lost in uh, episode six. So, you know, um, Return of the Jedi. So I didn't know that, and I didn't know that at the end when they showed this guy um, looking at the Mandalorian, that that was Bubba Fat. So all around, this episode was fantastic. I like how they brought in Timothy Oliphant, even though he's only has one episode. Uh, it was really good. I enjoyed it immensely. As you can see, these videos take a little bit of time, so we're gonna have to bring them down by episode, even though we're really late putting this out. Hopefully you guys still watch. Hopefully this is entertaining. So, but we're going to put these episodes out really fast since I already watched them. In saying that, if you are new here to SEM, please hit the subscribe button. Become part of this SEM Nation. Once you come part of this nation, that bell notification, you know when the video comes out. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. There it is. My name is Dorian. This is SEM. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And you guys have a good day.